So let's try this again with a much bigger n, right? So to get a more accurate solution. Uh, let me find out how do I how do I get the history workspace command history docked oh it's over here okay this is our command history so let's have n is equal to suggest something a hundred let's try a thousand <laughs> okay and uh, uh, where is the beginning of this? So let's repeat all of these. Evaluate. And the K didn't change. And the U should be evaluated here. And now let's plot our X and U. Now it's a lot uh, smoother, right? It looks like a Gaussian function now, really. So uh, the next thing we need is we have the A. Do I need to transpose U? Let me see. So U is, oh, we need to compute U0. U0 is equal to U2 to N minus 1, taking the interior points and uh, transpose it. Right, so that's our U0. That's now proper. And let's perform ODE45 again. Okay, now it's taking a while. And, uh, but after this is finished, uh, we should get a much better solution of uh, uh, the ODE, right? Okay, maybe we try any <laughs> 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 So we will look uh, a little bit on why it takes us uh, so long uh, when n is equal to a thousand uh, after we are done with this. So let's evaluate selection and do this. Okay, with a hundred, it's done instantaneously almost, right? And let's do the plotting again. Uh, Now we see a lot more accurate solution of the heat equation going from the initial condition of Gaussian and uh, it decays down. Uh, before the boundary becomes, uh, uh, before, it, before this wave reaches significantly the boundary, it should stay pretty much like a Gaussian, right? So that's how uh, the finite difference method works for solving heat equation. Right, any questions on, on the code? Yes. So each curve is an estimate at a specific time? At a specific time, yes. And the time, what time it is is also written by MATLAB. That's the, that's the, the T vector is uh, the list of time corresponding to each of these solutions. So where did you choose to um, the, uh, discretization for time? The discretization for time is chosen by ODE45. Okay. So that's, uh, it, it automatically adapts how much time step it needs to use to ensure stability and uh, accuracy. Okay, we're going to see like if we use our own time integrator, what what it'll what it'll turn out to be. <laughs>